If you knew then what you know now, would you change the way you lived? We're going to be exploring a lot. Some different concepts, different lifestyles, detox clusters, yoga, lifestyles you've never even heard of. Hi, I'm Cherry and I'm the Rachel Ray of Health and I'm going to change the way you feel, look, and exist. Some things that we're going to talk about are going to be the liver, the stomach, the colon, your skin health, different lifestyles, different concepts, different ideas, and just different ways to live. We're going to be exploring even further those themes by interviewing experts who've written books, journals, dietitians, nutritionists, holistic experts. With each show, you can expect out-of-the-box thinking when it comes to fitness with our friend Omar Lima. Each time um, we see him, he's going to give us a gift of exercise that we can do anytime, anywhere, in any way, and that's our motto. Yeah. Heal yourself. Well, my philosophy in training is functional training. The five pillars of fitness being core, balance, strength, flexibility, and coordination. Today's uh, movement is going to be an anterior reach, which is a very functional movement that we do day to day. Uh, it is a single leg balance, uh, we're focusing on your core because the core stabilizes the pelvis and the pelvis then stabilizes the leg. I'm going to bend at the knee and at the waist, reaching down with the opposite arm in front of me. I'm going to stand back up. I'm then going to make this into a multi-planar movement by reaching to my left. We'll also be interviewing people just like me and just like you who have overcome disease and are maybe living with disease and we'll take away learnings from them, how they've adopted new lifestyles and we'll give you an example of that. And today we're going to be talking to Yasmin Sherbagi and she's going to share with us her life story of beating cancer. We're here today to talk about a very important life event that happened with her and she's going to share some lessons learned um, that could definitely affect how you possibly live today. So tell me a little bit about some of the events that have led up to being and living with this new raw food diet. Well, uh, back in 2003, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Since then, I, um, I am 80% raw, but I, I do do some cooked food. Within a 10-day period, I was able to lower my cholesterol just by being raw. Okay, and what does raw mean? Raw means um, uncooked, okay. uncooked food and sprouted food. Okay, so if I were to ask you if you knew then what you know now, how would you have changed? I would have listened more to what my body was saying to me. Okay, well thanks Yasmin for joining us. I really appreciate the story and I know others like you out there appreciate it as well. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>